The suit's so fancy. Sorry, not today. Nimble action rifle. Ooh. Is there anything else I can mix up that I haven't? Nuka Cola, I've already made that. Nuka Love, Nuka Void. Let's make some Nuka Extreme. Extreme! And a Nuka Void. Add that to my collection. Taking a smoke break there, McCready. McSexy. I'm gonna miss McSexy. I'm heck, I'm gonna miss Gabridi. The entire set. I hear them. Oh, coming from above. Oh, did you just sneak up, sneak up behind us, Stalker? Is that why they call you Stalker? How cute. things gotta be careful with these things they hit hard Woo! what a challenge though that's what I wanted to get was a bit of a challenge gotcha all right now that we've taken care of that one maybe? I'm just guessing. No, we've already been through here. Where to next? You guess this way. No, we already went through this way. Did we? I'm getting a little turned around. I don't know if I've already gone this way or not. Oh, I don't think so. Coca-Cola Quantum and a souvenir sloth toy. Oh, come on. Work with me, pins. I only have like 5,000 of you left. So 
what I thought. Oh, there you are. Good stuff. Careful, mix sexy. I'm feeling eyes on my back. up there making sure everything is clear before I start hacking into any computers oh McReady I don't know if I'm gonna miss any of this traitor ah there you are level three So good. All right, where was that? Where was that? There it is. There's the terminal thing. Huh. Let's see. Shelter none. S H E L T E R S A N. Various. S-H-E-L-N-T S-H-E-L-N-T uh, V-A-R-I-O-U-S No L-A-N-T-E-R-N Certain we Open the d Open Sesame Find anything useful or are you just wasting our time again? Oh honey Don't talk like that don't be like that. Oh, wow. Huh. We've got a new power armor in here. Some MK3. Meh. It's better than what I have right now. Might as well grab it. Quite a few of them in here. One, two. There we go. How's it going, honey? Hmm. Gotta turn the power back on. What's up here? I feel like we're getting closer. Oh, 
Location grenade, Molotov cocktails. Don't mind if I do. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm not sure where my sweetie is, but I'm hoping he's okay. Here they come. You guys are so annoying. You know that? That's right, McCready. Take it from the bottom. to Nuka World, right there. That must mean we're close. If there's a way back outside, that must mean we're, we must be close. Thanks, honey. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Almost, I think that's a complete set, right? I'll take these. Nuka nice. Power Recipe. Heck yeah! Nuka World Terminal. All internet communications may be monitored for training evaluation purpose. System status. System error. Sensor failure. Sensors 1 to 905 offline. Station power up not recommended at this time. Contact part maintenance immediately. Employee communications. All internal communications may be mo monitored for a uh, 428 meltdown. What the heck happened? We submitted a full report last week explaining the whole series of failures that resulted in who knows how much contamination. Why wasn't the park opening delayed? C. Carlson. Reply. April 28th meltdown. After consulting our corporate offices and careful examination of the events, it has been determined that on-site evaluation of the Class 7 event was performed incorrectly and that the incident was not nearly as severe as initially feared. The good folks at corporate assured us that everything is great, we're going to have a great season, and ask that you please read through pages 94 to 107 of your employee agreement, specifically with regards to the dissemination of any information about your work here at the parks. Despite the fact that there was apparently some sort of nuclear meltdown here, they'd like to remind you that discussion of any events on park grounds is a violation of that agreement and could result in administrative action. Thanks all, and let's have a great year. T. O'Connor, Director of Human Resources. Nira. Oh, Nira. Buckley, please send another message up the chain. That robot has been found three times this week banging into the exterior security doors on the power plant. The thing needs reprogramming or something. Does anyone understand how much havoc it could cause if it got inside and started bumbling around near the controls? I don't know about you guys, but I think that thing is creepy as heck. T. Reynolds. Upgrades. What is this going to take? Eight years now since the last plant overhaul? That's before Galactic Zone even opened, and we all know what a power hog that is. Saunders says the last inspection was a joke, that the guy never even really took a good look at the equipment. Just sat in the control room, jawing with the executives, then signed the paperwork and went on his way. We're gonna have some massive problems really soon. Would the company rather spend a little money now on upgrades than a ton of money on fixes and PR later? Oh wait. When later? T. Larson. All internal communication. Employee snack breaks. Hey guys, I've been asked to pass along a message from corporate. They're concerned that folks are bringing in and eating too much outside non-Nuka branded food and oh, too much outside non-Nuka branded food and drinks for their breaks. They like everyone to please consider buying their break time snacks from the park itself. It's not mandated right now, just a suggestion. Let me know if you have any issues. A Buckley, really? Additional shifts available. Hey everyone, since we're coming up on the end of the season and we're a little short staffed already, what with Carlson, Carson, Carlson being fired and all, I just wanted to point put it out there that we've got additional shifts available for anyone looking to make a few extra bucks. We're doubling staff here at the plant for the last four weeks of the season, leading up to the park's Halloween Spooktacular event, which as we all know is a big one for corporate. If you'd like to sign up, the forums are in the office. We'll be offering time and fifth, time and a fifth pay, ooh, and a whole fifth. So it's a pretty great deal. Ooh, not. Um... Jeez, 
Yeah, take a break there, McCready. Let's take a look at what's in the safe. I'm wondering if the way to, to start up the generator, the power in Nuka World is outside on the roof somewhere. Ooh, this expert luck is definitely taking giving me a run for my money. There we go. That's it. Perfect. world. Now what? Restore the... Okay, I have to go in there. Aha! Nice. Ooh, another safe. This one's advanced. Not advanced enough. Beautiful. Nuka World Terminal. As per management direction, all incidents require proper documentation to minimize liability in the event of a civil criminal suit. Please consult your survivor to, and supervisor to ensure that all necessary steps are taken. Incident reports. As per management direction, all incidents require proper documentation to minimize liability in the event of a civil criminal suit. Please consult your supervisor. Oh, to ensure all necessary steps are taken. Report 674. October 20th, 2077. Incident type. Main power failure. Filing employee A. Buckley. Notes. Lighting test for upcoming Halloween spooktacular event tripped main breakers. Employees would like to note that repeated complaints have been entered and regarding the power load of said event on an aging system that has not been updated in at least the last seven years. Report uh, 73. August 18, 2077. Incident type, unexpected full reboot. Filing employee, and auto. After hours systems failure resulting in full reboot of all power relays. Employee error cited as primary cause. C. Carlson has received second reprimand in his file. Huh. Report number 672. Uh, uh, June 12, 2077. Incident type, sustained voltage sag. Galactic zone. Filing employee, A. Buckley. Notes, 90 second sag resulting in electrical mechanical malfunctions across galactic zone. Fault trace to vomit on exposed wiring on handy scrambler. Recommend that splash guards be installed in all critical systems to prevent future incidents. Ugh. Report 672. Oh, we already did this one. Report 671. April 28th, 2077. Incident type forced shutdown, redacted. Filing employee A. Buckley. Critical failure of redacted due to a series of events starting with redacted blockage in the secondary pump system followed by PORV in redacted. Stuck in open position. This resulted in loss of redacted M3 of coolant and possible leakage of redacted into Park River. Update. Corporate review review of this incident has determined that no major faults can be found. Inc can be found. Incident was mischaracterized as a class 1 failure when in fact it was merely a class 7 event. Oh, this is, must be the meltdown. That must be the meltdown that they're redacting. Park operation can continue as normal and this should not affect the upcoming season opening. Really now. Report number 670 plus. All prior report data sent to corporate headquarters. Retain local copies pursuant to procedure O23C. Okay. Let's bring this up and running. Nice. Oh my. Wow. Whoa. Nuka 
open world is power now. That's pretty cool. Wow. Isn't this romantic, Mercury? Wow, this power suit doesn't have any... Doesn't have a jet, jet pack. Oh well. So now that the power is on, I believe we can finally get that suit. Right? We can finally get the suit. Um... Because... Because, 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 because... Here. We needed... I think that there was one more star core that I needed, but I needed to power up the park in order to get it. Because I've gotten every single star core except for one. And it requires me to go into an elevator, which is not powered until I got the power running at the plant. There we go. Going there we go. How exciting! Ooh. Ooh, we're at the this top. Is different. Oh wow. Luka World looks beautiful when it's when it has power, especially at night. We're splitting all that, right? We always do, sweetheart. Stark War added. Ooh, Nuka Cola Victory. Wow. <sighs> wow. Woo! as power. Look at this. Cool. Exploring around Nuka World with power must be really must be really neat. Okay. Now the question is, where does the last star core slot? Where is the last star core slot? That's the one thing that I uh Oh. Ah, they found me. Operator scum. I was wondering when you would come show up, rear your ugly heads. Yeah, you're not gonna get away from my, me and my husband. A little foolish of you to come this way, knowing that I already killed all your bosses. That's so. Shoe flies, you bother me. Freezing Disciples Knife. Does 10 points of damage and will freeze targets on critical hits. Ooh, fancy suit and tie. Don't mind if I do. Oh, honey. Here, no sweat. The hell are they? Oh, there they are. He's just running in place. Okay.
Nice. Good job, McSexy. Alright, now as I was saying, where do I put that last star core? Ugh. Don't shoot my sexy husband. saying before I was rudely interrupted Case, open display case 34 35 where does the last one get placed ah found it it was hiding from me there we go now we can unlock the case fancy Open the display case. Nice. Corrupt error. Corrupted control software detected. Initializing additional star cores to bypass corrupted blocks. Done. Security lock released. Opening. Yes. Oh man. McCready, look at this. Look at this stylish looking thing. Wow. MK5. That is a beautiful looking power armor. Sweet. Actually, Cabridi. Cabridi! Cabridi, I'm trying to give you this power armor, sweetheart. Where did you go? Cabridi! McCready! I don't know where my husband went. I brought him here so I could take this. Oh, there you are. It's like, McCready. Hey, what do you want? I'm, this is for you. I did all this work for you, man. This is going to be your main power armor because it's so stylish. Yep, you got it. Matches your wife beater. Oh my gosh. McCready, that is so smoking sexy. Nice. Excuse me. Hey, is something the matter? No, not at all. Your thoughts? Walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. All right. Didn't have anything else. All right. All right, McCready, let's go back. Ah. <sighs> I think everything in Nuka Nuka World is is good. Everything is everything is good. I'm very satisfied with this. Brad Burton. I wonder if Fritch I wanna wonder if Fritch, the guy at the Nuka Cade, is still cool with us or if he's gonna outright attack us, because if he's gonna outright attack us, that means he's gonna be a threat to the traitor. So I better make sure that he's all good and legit. Cause if not, eh, he's gonna have to, you know, he's gonna have to pay the consequences.
night. Check out the Nuka Cave. Are we so cool, Fritch? We're so cool. Excuse me. Back for more, boss. What do you need? All right, Fritch is cool. What's your story? So what's your story anyway? Me? Didn't know you were interested. Well, I've been running this place for years now. And to be honest, until Coulter rolled in with his, uh, I mean, your gang, it was getting boring. They were going to kick me out of the Nuka Cave. But then I showed them that I possessed skill that would be useful to them. Fixing these machines really isn't that different than tinkering with a gun or some armor. Just make the right connections, and it all works. After a while, Coulter started considering me almost a part of the gangs. That's probably why he never slapped. Oh, like that. so he was Hopefully a. Hopefully, I'll have the same luck with you, boss. So he wasn't really anyway, a, a raider. How about I fix you up with some tokens so you can get playing? So he was sort of like a trader. Okay, that's why he's so cool with us. What kind of prizes can I win here? Well, some of the things in the redemption system are left over from the pre-war era. However, I've added a few more, let's just say, more appropriate items for the gangs to enjoy. You can win plenty of ammunition, or even some special weapons and armor that I created myself. If you're curious, go take a look at our redemption terminal. I'm betting you'll find something worth blowing your tokens on. Otherwise, I could always show you what I have for sale. Sure. Let's take a look. <laughs> I have all sorts of ways to help you waste your time, boss. Yeah, well, why don't you just make sure that the people here are well taken care of. That's... that's how you can help us out, Fritch. Okay. Whew. Wow. Well, before we close, I want to... We're going to close at... We're going to go to... We're going to close back home with our fam. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's up. Yeah, what is it? Hey there. Well, hello, handsome. Hey, honey. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. The day you told me that you loved me was the greatest day of my life. How do you feel about us? With you at my side, I feel like I can take on the world. There's no bond stronger than that. That's all for now. I'm at me. Huh, <sighs> McCready, I'm gonna miss you. Can mom see me? Hey, son. Hey, Sean. Did you find what I needed? What did you need again? What was it you wanted me to find? I need an alarm clock. Oh. Let me know right away if you find one. Okay? Sure. What's new, kid? Did you find what I needed? Here you go. Yep, got it right here. Oh, come on. No, you don't. <laughs> Be serious. Tell me when you get one. For real. Sure. Sure, son. Oh, boy. All right. Well. Gosh, we look me we, we make such a good looking couple, don't we? Don't we, McGreedy? Alright, so my thoughts on Nuka World. Um I really enjoyed it. Uh there the, the, the park itself was really, really creative, very cool to explore, especially Kitty Kingdom. I felt that some of the other other parks like other parts of the park, you know, other than Kitty Kingdom lacked a little bit more than it it, it it seemed like there was so much going on with kitty kingdom and galactic world and and um the safari um mostly because of sito's uh storyline was pretty cool but i felt that places like the western area the gulch area and the bottling plant kind of left much to be desired in by comparison so that was one of one thing that I kind of have to critique about it. The other major, I guess, critique I have is that, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think about this, like, fairly, because I think one thing that many people might have a problem with this DLC is that... I thought I saw it. 
<laughs> the creatures that I've seen, Sean. Um, the biggest thing I think a lot, a lot of people might have with this, it's kind of what I sort of had a problem with this at the beginning, is that this DLC doesn't lend itself very well for people who are totally against, like, the Raiders. The people who do not care for the Raiders or what they do and what they stand for. Like, this DLC doesn't really... doesn't really... it. It seems to embrace a type of character, a type of character that, and the, the way that I've been role-playing Gabe, he tries to take the high road as much as possible, and the greater is just, I don't think that in character he realistically would have, you know, joined up with the raiders, but the game kind of forced you into that. Which I think is a problem from a role-playing standpoint. That being said, I think a lot of people had complained about how in Fallout you don't get as many opportunities to be a, I guess, darker character. Um, yes, you can. You can definitely be dark, but the opportunities to be a darker character are, are heavily outweighed by all the things you can do as more of a heroic or paragon type of character. You don't get to be as underhanded and be rewarded for being underhanded as much as it looks like you do for Nuka World. So on one hand, it's probably not a great DLC if you are trying to roleplay a character that, again, is trying to take a higher moral ground. But for those of you who've been dying to get more content to be more of a quote-unquote villainous character because because there was a point where they outright wanted you to kind of backstab the commonwealth the people of the commonwealth and start taking over um i don't know if there's any content i feel like there is some content with preston at least if you do that and i think he has some things that he wants to tell you but i don't know if he outright leaves the group just because you start, you know, attacking the people of the Commonwealth, which is a little bit out of character, I think. So, you know, it's it's not a perfect DLC, but I I think I enjoyed that DLC, this DLC, just as much, if not a little more, than Far Harbor. Just because I think that there were more interesting things going on in this DLC than in Far Harbor, like the stuff with Sierra and the Brad Burton head and Sito was really cool and as annoying as it could be finding you know all the star cores and the cappies and the, 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 the hidden cappies I think that some people might have fun you know going through that little scavenger hunt kind of thing Gage was a really cool addition again I didn't necessarily agree Gabe probably didn't agree with a lot of the things that he did or stood for but he was a I think he was an is a interesting character, especially one that you could romance. And you know, I'm curious to see what the romance of Gage would be like. But it just Gabe wasn't get, was not did not see Gage like that at all. So there was no way he was going to be doing that. It would have been nice if there was a again with every DLC. It would be nice if there was a little bit more content content from the other PCs like McCready or. You know, strong. I brought strong along for a while. It would have been nice, like, if they had some unique dialogue, but I guess, you know, that requires them to pay Kyer back and pay the voice actors to record more, you know, content just for this DLC, which they may or may not want to have wanted to do or felt that they had the time or effort wanted to put in the effort to do that so <laughs> Curie I'm I'm talking to the audience right now never mind as you wish I wasn't I didn't I wasn't talking to in the first place Curie what's going on um but yeah so Nuka world great area great thing to cool thing to explore you know I love the fashion I mean look at this suit look at this golden suit and McCready's is even better than that you know the armors the new armors the new weapons Hey, McCready. So, hey. Can you come over here, please? I want to be. I want to be close to you as we do our sign off. Hey, what we discussed earlier. You're gonna be discreet. But um, McCready is the is the poor power armor getting in your way. Okay. Oh, sweetheart, honey, it's okay. But um, anyway, um, Fallout 4. 
like I said, I've heard of another settlement that's in trouble. Really enjoyed, was very surprised by how much. What they need. We should use more settlements supporting our cause. Oh, Preston. I was really surprised again by how much I really enjoyed this game. I did not expect to love this game as much as I did. Um, especially because I thought, you know, Fallout 3 was enjoyable, but again, what really made Fallout 4 such a great game to me was the fact that the the followers were done so well and the romances by comparison to previous games were done so well that it was enough to really get me to love this game and I love the community the, the community of being able to build your own stronghold your own skyhold your own you know and and just recruit people to try to make it in this world there's just a, a really cool feeling of this community that I love which I did not really, which I I missed in the other Fallout games, where you were mostly just a, you were mostly just fending for yourself. You were mostly lone wolfy, with the exception of the one companion you you were with. Whereas here, I like the idea that all of your companions, you know, are kind of with you the whole way through, and not just, you know, not just having one companion at a time, and that's it. The sense of family in this game was awesome. So many great things about Fallout that I love. And so I just wanted to thank Bethesda for making such an amazing experience, this amazing game. Um, can't wait to see what they will have for us in Fallout 5. I hope it will have even more of the things that I love from Fallout 4. I hope they don't, at, at minimum, I hope they don't remove any of the stuff I love about it's Fallout 4 and Fallout 5. And uh, yeah, so... This is a really long, really long Let's Play, so thank you for anyone who has watched any portion, any amount of videos from this Let's Play, and for those of you who watched the entire thing from beginning to end, a very special thank you, because that's dedication. This is a lot. There's a, This is a really long LP. And thank you very much for sharing into Gabe and McCready's story, because these two... I'm just going to miss these two so much. And Sean, our son. Um, so, thank you so much, everybody. Can't wait to see what I'm going to be playing next. And I guess I will talk to you later. Until next time, everybody. Love yourselves. And love each other.